since we've seen you back out on the field. When did that rib injury start to feel better, well enough that you were able to swing? Hey, Meredith. Yeah, like you said, it's been a while. Good to see you guys. Um, it's been quite a, it's been a couple of weeks, couple, a month or so, you know, I've been able to swing. Um, and we were getting our work down in, in Tampa. You know, I was still able to go into the facility and, you know, get in the cages, get on the field every once in a while. So uh, it feels good to be back on the field. You know, I was, you know, kept inching, trying to, you know, kind of push them on the, the regimen a little bit on what we could do because, you know, my body was feeling great. And, you know, I know we had a limited time to, you know, get ready for the season because we never knew when it was going to, when it was going to start. So, uh, yeah, it's been about a couple of weeks, month. I, I'm not too sure, to be honest. The days, you know, kind of blend together during quarantine. In your mind, is that a thing of the past? Are you are you still monitoring that? I'm getting ready. Like I told you guys in spring training, I was going to be ready for opening day. So uh, no, I'm feeling good. I'm not really, you know, the biggest thing now is just getting the reps in, you know, because I missed so many at bats in the spring training we had. Uh, I didn't get all the reps in the outfield, reps on the bases. So for me right now, it's just about getting my timing back in in the game and um, just getting my game reps so we can you know go out there for these sixty games. So early on in the process, it's only been a couple days, but how do you feel at the plate right now just seeing live pitching again? Really good, really good. I feel like my eyes, you know, seeing the ball well, seeing it out of the hand well, um, trying to make good contact, but that's what, you know, we got a pretty tough pitching staff out there. So these next couple of weeks are going to be tough, but we're looking forward to it. You want to face the best, so we got the best. And uh, no, it's, it's going to be fun, fun couple of weeks. Thank you, Aaron. Welcome. We'll take the next question from James Wagner. James, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron, how's it going? Hope you and the family are doing well. Uh, just quick two questions. One, if it was any consideration for you, or was it at all to play this season, given you know the health risks? Secondly, of all the things you have to go through this year, they're you know changing your behavior, uh, whether it's like you know not going to a restaurant on the road, not spitting, no access to the video room. What has been? What do you see the hardest? What has been the hardest so far to get used to? What's going on, James? Good to see you. Um, there's never a doubt in my mind. Um, I've, I've opted out, you know. Uh, we, we went over the risk, went over everything. Um, you know, but my family's staying in California. You know, they're going to try to watch every game they can. And, uh, yeah, it was, I'm, I'm ready to go. You know, I really don't want to opt out. And then the challenge is, like you said, there's a lot of, you know, rules, a lot of regulations. Can't do this, can't do that. But, you know, kind of what we talked with the team about is, hey, fellas, we got, we got four months. Four months to lock it in, four months to, you know, go through everything, do the procedures, keep everybody safe, you know, hold hold off on, you know, you know, going out or, you know, going to places. Just be smart. And you know, that's the biggest thing we kind of talked to everybody about, which is being smart and holding each other accountable, you know, during these times. So we got four months to go out there and, you know, win a championship and, you know, we want everybody on the field. Um, you know, so it's just, you know, we can, you know, you can spit and chew some flower seeds and go out to a restaurant and, you know, once this is all over with. Thank you. Thanks, James. We could take the next question from Eric Boland. Eric, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron, thanks for uh, thanks for coming in tonight. Um, you, you said there is really no hesitation in terms of committing to play. Do you feel 100% safe? Do you feel that you're taking any kind of a, a risk by playing? Hey, Eric. Um, hey. Yeah, yeah. There's obviously a risk, you know, with anything, you know, just. Uh, you know, walking outside, there's a risk, you know, leaving your apartment, there's a risk, you know, it's, there's risks everywhere, but I just, you know, I love this game and I love the team that we got here and the opportunity we have here, even though it's 60 games and I just can't wait to get it started, you know, but that's where, that's where we kind of talk as a team and we talk with each other really about just hammering and being accountable for each other, you know, watching out for each other, you know, making sure you wash your hands, make sure you're wearing your mask, making sure you're, you know, doing the things so that everybody stays healthy and stays on the field. Thanks, Aaron. Take the next question from Marley. Marley, if you can unmute, please. Aaron, thank you very much for joining us tonight. It's good to see you. Aaron, obviously last year, even with all the record setting injuries, you guys were two games away to make to the World Series. This year, even though we're in a pandemic and with a shortened season, you've had a lot of time to get healthy. You know, not only you, Aaron Hicks, you know, James Paxton. What can the Yankees do, a fully healthy roster in a 60 game season? Hey, Marla, that's a, <laughs> that's <laughs> a good you. question. You know, um, 
you know, I'm, to be honest, I'm not quite sure. And there's a lot of unknowns. Like you said, we had a lot of guys missing time and haven't really had our whole squad together, you know, for you know, a full season. But I think that's what kind of motivates this team is the unknown of not, you know, we don't, how good, how good could we be? You know, what, how special could this team be? So I think it's that unknown that really motivates us to go out there and say, hey, guys, let's these next four months go out there and, you know, put a good season together and, you know, show them what we got. In the middle of this terrible thing, do you kind of see it, see it as a silver lining that you guys had all this time uh, to get healthy? Yeah, selfishly, you know, selfishly. <laughs> like I said, I was kept telling you guys in spring training in February that I'd be ready for opening day, and I haven't lied to you guys yet. So, uh, <laughs> but it, it was, you know, it was sad to, you know, kind of see the world without sports for a while, and it was tough on a lot of people. And, uh, but it's, I'm just glad that we're starting to get things back, and hopefully we can continue to, continue to play and finish the season. Thank you. We'll take a few more. Sweeney, Sweeney Murdy, go ahead and unmute. You can ask a question. Hey, Aaron, by the time, I'm sure you've seen the schedule, at least part of it, it just came out. Uh, by the time you guys take the field on July 23rd, it's going to be, what, 10 months since you last played a game. Uh, what are the challenges of then playing 60 games in 66 days? You know, the idea of conditioning for that sprint. Yeah, Sweeney, it's um, – well, that's where these, you know, a couple of months off are so important. You know, that's why, you know, a lot of us on the team are checking in with each other. Hey, what are you guys doing? You know, making sure you're still throwing, making sure the pitchers are still staying on the routine, you know, making sure the hitters are getting their swings. And it's not, you know, go out there and do your, you know, full routine like you would during the season, but just, but just stay moving. I think that's what we did uh, collectively as a team uh, really well is everybody was staying in shape, everybody's ready to go, just – kind of chomping at the bits, you know, so that's, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, what you did, what we did these past four months. It's not really about what we did right now. It's actually what we did, you know, from, you know, March all the way till now is what's really going to, you know, separate us, I think, from teams. We'll take a final question from Brendan Cuddy. Brendan, go ahead. Aaron, thank you for taking the time tonight. I hope you're well. Um, on Thursday, you faced Garrett Cole. He's pitching again tomorrow night. You've seen him a bunch in the past, but just what was that like on Thursday facing him here at Yankee Stadium and just how good, how special could he be for you guys? Uh, like I said, I think I talked to you guys maybe in the offseason when spring training started about, you know, when we acquired Garrett Cole. I think, I think me and a lot of guys on the team, probably the whole team, were just looking at our phones, checking our phones every single day, trying to see the updates, see who he was signing with, who he was going with. And uh, he's something special. You know, it was fun facing him on Thursday. That's the first you know, live BP I had in, in quite a few months. So to see the best in the game was was uh, was pretty fun, you know, just right out of the gates. But and he's just – he's such a competitor, you know, even checking in with them. And he's throwing 99, you know, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago during his – you know, bullpens, he's throwing it home. He's, you know, hitting 99, hitting the spots. You know, he's throwing four or five innings. Man, he's just, he's a bulldog, you know, and that's the type of guy you want leading your staff. The guy's going to go out there every five days and demand the ball and go out there and, you know, get wins for you. And it's uh, just a fierce competitor. I think I, when I stepped in the box, you know, the face him the first time, I tried to give him a little, hey, G, how's it going? And he, he just looked right through me, man. So that's, uh, that shows you what type of competitor he is. And it doesn't matter if it's practice or, Live DP or the game, and he's he's the real deal. So I'm ex excited to see him out there in a, in a pinstripes uh, in Yankee Stadium soon.